good morning everybody it is February the 13th 2017 scripture of the day is a psalm chapter 41 verse 2 and it reads the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive and he shall be blessed upon the earth and thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies from uh, my own experience lately through the things that I have been going through. Um, which have been quite hard on me. Um, I feel like the Lord gave me this uh, scripture this morning to encourage you guys that um, no matter, still no matter what um, situation or your circumstances look like um, and how bad it, it it gets or the suffering that you are going through um, God will always preserve us and he will um, always um, keep us going um, through the circumstances and give us the strength to get through even though sometimes we feel like that we want to give up and as we look here, alive also means um, to quicken or recover or repair or restore. Um, so it's not just uh, speaking as keeping us alive from keeping us from death, but it also refers to that it will quicken and recover and repair us and it will restore us when we need um, that in a, a season we may be going through. We know that God will somehow, some way, restore our strength and hope that we need through the circumstances that keep us down um, and that are quite hard on us. Um, the rest of the scripture here says that, you know, he will not deliver him unto the will of his enemy. Um, enemy here um, could, you know, is the same as... Um, uh, adversary, um, you know, um, the enemy, you know, Satan in your life, the things that he does. Um, the Lord says that he will not let his will come to pass. Um, and we also read in scripture that um, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Uh, the weapon can be formed, but it will not prosper in our lives. Um, so in this scripture, too, we can be reassured that the, the Lord will um, not let the enemy have his will in our lives. He uses the things that the enemy tries to do in our lives to, um, to strengthen us or to take issues out or to, um, it, you know, get us to go through a circumstance and learn from experience. Uh, more about God, getting closer to God. Um, so he'll use those things of the enemy for that reason um, and that reason only. And he will not let uh, the enemy's will come upon us. Um, so once again, um, in these situations that we are going through, um, sometimes there might be great suffering. Um, there might be... Uh, great concerns through it. Um, most definitely, um, you know, having a hard time. Um, but we, as I said, as we look at this scripture, we can be reassured that God will always revive us and restore us and He will not let the will of the enemy come past in our lives, but just use it for... Um, you know, to build us up in the kingdom. Um, so if you guys, um, once again, are going through something and you are going through great suffering, um, please know that uh, the Lord will restore you and give you the strength that you need when there are times when you feel you want to give up and there's just no way out. Um, God is not doing it to punish us. He is uh, um, doing it for our own good. Something that needs to be, you know, done in our lives. And 
that's different for each and every one of us, but uh, God's ways are and, and thoughts are higher than our own. So there is a reason um, for those seasons in our lives, and we have to come to a place of patience and trust and faith in the Lord that we will get through and we will see the manifestation of um, the circumstance coming out to the good for us. Um, so just want you guys to keep that in mind today um, as you are uh, going through your day and you might be going through something that is uh, really um, giving you a hard time. And uh, I understand because I'm going through the same thing in my life as well right now. Um, and it has taken everything in me to um, stay afloat and uh, keep focused uh, uh, and stay on the word and not give up. So um, I just want to encourage you guys with that this, uh, this morning and uh, just want to say a word of prayer with you guys. Lord, we thank you for this word. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives, and we thank you for your hand of protection. We thank you that you are using all things to our good um, for, for us in our lives, Lord, to see your kingdom more clearly and to see revelation more clearly and to build us up and make us, make us stronger soldiers in Christ for you. We thank you for the things that you have done and we thank you for the things that you haven't done yet. We thank you for taking care of us and watching over our families and keeping, uh, and we thank you for keeping the enemy um, from his will coming to pass in our lives through your blood that was shed on the cross, Lord. We thank you for all these things and we praise your name today, Lord, in your name. Amen. So, scripture of the day is Psalm chapter 41, verse 2. You guys have a blessed day. Remember, ears open, eyes open. Listen to the Spirit. And I'll talk to you guys soon.